unpacking has been crazy. Hello friends, oh, welcome back to the vlog. Today is day four of our five day journey of packing up our four bed, three bath house in just five days. I'm insane, but if you're new here, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my page and make sure your post notifications are on because I do post at least three videos a week, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, and one on Faith Fridays. So if you're interested in seeing all things in the life of a girl in her 20s living in South Jersey without a traditional nine to five job, be sure to subscribe. I am Mia and I have a lot going on this week. I've done a vlog every single day showing you guys all the things that we do probably have done a lot of things a little bit harder than they should have been. So if you guys have any packing or moving tips, we're going to be packing up and moving again. So make sure to drop down below in the comments and let me know your tips and tricks. For the past few days, the first day we did the upstairs, which is completely empty. That is why it's so echoey in here. Sorry. The second day we did the entire downstairs or most of it. The third day, which was yesterday, we did the basement, we brought everything up, we started organizing all the totes in the order that they're going to go into the trailer, and today is day four. So we're going to do the outside, and we're going to start loading everything into the trailer. We have some church friends coming. They're going to help us get some of the bigger items into the bin. We did order a bed cover. We ordered couch covers, like plastic and stuff that we can wrap them in. They did accidentally get ordered to my friend's house, but thankfully, last night we had our little crew bible we had our little hangout so i was able to pick those up from her house because we definitely did accidentally send them there so yeah we have a lot to do today and a lot to do tomorrow and then my husband goes to work on saturday he'll be gone for 24 hours and i also need to edit three videos for next week on saturday and we have not started packing yet for our trip to florida we'll be gone for seven or eight days you just have a lot going on it's been such a hectic week but also just praise god that we were able to find tenants our pmi got dropped i don't know if i told you guys that if you bought a house even two years ago check and see just check on zillow casually see what your home is valued at times that number by 0.8 then go and see how much do you owe on your mortgage if what you owe on your mortgage is less than 80 percent of the value of your home you can get your pmi dropped this is saving us over a hundred dollars a month and it only costs us 200 bucks so definitely check that out and see if you can get that dropped but so many things have just lined up god has opened so many doors in this season and we're just so expectant for the next season we honestly have no idea what it's gonna look like what we're doing going forward it's just it's just such a fake journey of when when we get there we'll figure it out but for today we have a lot to do so let's get to it god really knows what he's doing don't stress out his timing is perfect his plan is perfect He's got you right where he wants you.
right, so we are outside right now. I am doing all the power washing. My husband is taking all of the things out of the shed for me to power wash. We found our hot tub and some flower pots inside of our like exterior chests and things, but they are covered in cobwebs. So I'm hosing all that down spraying them with soap and it's gonna be a long day <laughs> we started loading the trailer we rinsed everything all of our extra exterior stuff down but there is this little void space here so we're just putting all of our filler stuff that didn't really have an order in there we put the lamps in there we also put a basket not a basket it's like a ziploc bag of pillows and then also a ziploc bag of our christmas throw blankets and pjs and stuff like that which we don't really really need so we put those back there may or may not get rid of them when we unpack but we still have all of this trailer to load and it looked so big when we bought it and now looking at all of our stuff it's feeling a little small so pray for us so we have this back here which is two queen comforters and our couch pillows and then again we have these bags which is a bag of our christmas throw blankets and like pajamas christmas sweaters and then the other one is just like seasonal throw pillows we also have our yard sale sign things and our reefs we put back there and then in this huge trunk, we used to have our hot tub, but we got rid of it. So now there's potting plants. There is my yoga mats are in there. They're in a container. We have potting soil, burlap, and then a bunch of welcome mats. And then this one, is this empty? Yep. This one is empty, so we'll fill that up. But right now we're putting the lamps all in the back with the tools, and then we're gonna throw the bags in on top. We did have this issue when we got a U-Haul. We kind of didn't put anything in the front. And then when we got to the end, we were just throwing bags across the trailer. So we're not doing that again. We're just gonna pack it in as tight as possible. So we got all of our filler items out of the house, and that is what we're putting in there now. has been a whole day honestly i've done such a bad job vlogging today so i'm so sorry that this video is a little bit short we did all of the outside supplies we packed in a lot of our storage totes and then honestly we were so worried that everything was not gonna fit in we realized that we just had a lot of stuff and now that we're at the end of the night we realize uh it's it isn't all gonna fit our garage stuff it just wasn't gonna make it we also put a bunch of stuff on the curb because a we were trying to sell some stuff we didn't want and we didn't have enough room in the little trailer for things to take to the flea market and then b we just realized like we don't have room for this we don't have room for that so we just started putting stuff at the curb we had two of nate's friends come over and help us my friend also came over and we had pizza and all the guys were able to get all of that stuff packed in there i mean outside of the tools i still was surprised that we were able to get everything i was very concerned especially with the bookshelves and all of the toads we have a deep freezer oh my gosh i thought we downsized but we did not so we'll definitely have to look over what we have when we move again i don't know if it's a lot or if it just seems like a lot all packed up i don't know what the issue is but it's nine o'clock and i went to bed around midnight last night i got up at 6 a.m so i'm not running on a lot of sleep right now and we have to get up at six again tomorrow we are officially going to be leaving so in the morning i have to do a watch back for my video that's going to be released tomorrow and then i will do a thumbnail for that get that all scheduled exported all those things 
And then after I'm done that, we're going to pack for vacation. So we are leaving for vacation on Sunday. So we're going to pack for that. And then we'll pack up our bedroom. We'll pack up our cars with all the things we need to take to my in-laws. We'll take one trip there, get the 24-foot U-Haul in place, and unpack some of our things in the room. We'll pack up all of my sister-in-law's things, get that out of our bedroom, and kind of just like get some things in order. Then we'll come back here for the second trip, pack up the cars with anything that's left, and then we will do a deep cleaning. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just like laughing because I'm like, we have so much stuff to do. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> but literally all you can do is laugh it's just one of those things where like you just have to find the joy in it because otherwise I mean what other choice do you have like be miserable and walk around all whiny or just like laugh about it so yeah I definitely have the sleepy ha-has and I'm kind of just like <laughs> everything is just like okay it is what it is but that's really just been this whole year it's just like I don't know. It is what it is. So, so with all that being said, make sure to chime back in for the next vlog. All of that will be in the next vlog. Do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my page and make sure your post notifications are on so you know as soon as the next vlog is up and available to watch. But until then, be blessed and I'll see you guys next time.